Hey guys, good morning, good morning. I am literally on the school run and I thought I haven't done a video in a long time so I thought let me jump on here and do one real quickly. Um, in my new spectacles today, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, my son doesn't like them. But so let me just do the quick live. This morning I am, I was packing some clothes together and my son said, mommy, all of your clothes kind of like are the same. I said, what do you mean, honey? Um, he said, kind of like the same color, the same style. And he's right, actually. Of course, my son's calling me plain. But he's right. I literally dress to be comfortable. Um, I'm not a fashionable person. I've never been. As I reflected on why my clothes style is probably the way it is, I reflected on being a child and how very little we had. And we wore a lot of hand-me-downs and how those formed... Um, my dress style, part and parcel of who I became. And as I got older, of course, I could have found my own, you know, style and whatever. But I stayed consistently that way. I love being comfortable. It may not feel that way to some people. It may not even make sense. Um, my daughter on the opposite, she's absolutely fashionable. My son is absolutely fashionable. Um, but I wanted to use this to talk about what I got from that. I got from that that my son saw my consistency. That even in my dress sense, I'm consistent. Might be boring, but it's consistent. And I want to say to those of you this morning who are struggling with being consistent, to really start thinking about where is that lack of consistency coming from? Because I really believe as a child, you know, I chase my son a lot around doing stuff around the house consistently, remembering to do this, 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 this. But as a child, my mom didn't have to because she kept us on tow and consistently we had to do the same thing. Of course, I've slacked a bit as a mother. I don't have enough help. I'm trying sometimes to do work and it's, you know, you compromise. And sometimes you overcompromise. But going back to the point is, where did your lack of consistency come from? Go back into your childhood and look at what consistency looks like or looked like that. I'm actually starting to reflect on how I need to be more consistent with my son. Because my daughter tells me all the time that he gets away with so much that she didn't get away with. Even this week we had a little quarrel over that. But he's not as consistent as I'd have loved him to be. And so consistency, I believe, is something that actually starts way back. The pattern of consistency starts way back into your childhood. Today, if you're not consistent, I want you to pause for a second and really go back into your childhood and look at what consistency looked like in your home at the time. My friend Audrey does forgiveness coaching and she's always saying that you must look at what forgiveness looks looked like in your family. I'm having a tongue twist. Look at what consistency looked like in your household because how it looked as a child impacts in my opinion how you are today so yes I'm boring yes I wear the same kind of clothes I'm just really consistent I like to be comfortable I'm not necessarily about fashion I'm about comfort and I don't apologize for that and um, and so in all of that today the lesson this morning was consistency 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 in order for you to grow and thrive and flourish and be successful you have got to be consistent consistent oh god it's dr ava eagle brown uh the mango girl um thank you so much for watching comment let me know let's have a conversation let's have a dialogue if ever i can serve or support you as a life coach a book coach or whatever our strategy is but also please hop over to the mango girl.com and make sure you check out our products that's a part of my consistency have a good day bye for now